Nerd Seth Lake here with another um, tutorial on how to use the iPad better. Now this isn't uh, my normal for flight tutorial. This is something that you can do with any iPad on any program and it, all it does is help you highlight something on the screen without having to get up and put your greasy finger on the big screen that you're casting your device to. So the way we're going to do this is go to general uh, general settings and back here to accessibility um, down in the interaction section here you're going to select assistive touch and right here you're going to create a custom gesture there we go and you're just going to tap the screen save it give it a fun name like pointer there we go all right, so now we have a custom gesture called pointer. Um, on custom actions, single tap, we're gonna say pointer on single tap. And double press, or double tap, we're going to select uh, dock. Okay, now we're gonna go back to accessibility and go all the way down to accessibility shortcut and select assistive touch. All right, now let's see how this works. We're gonna open up ForeFlight. We're going to hit our home button three times. That's going to open up this little uh, doodad here. We can move it to either side of the screen, any location, to get it out of your way. And we're just going to give a single press there. Now we have this handy little pointer that we can use to highlight things on the screen. Uh, and of course this will show up on your casting device, so if it's up on the big screen and you're briefing a route and you want to point out something, you can do that. Now, the limb facts of this is you can't manipulate the map now. Um, even single tap, it'll pull up you know, information on four flight, but I can't use two fingers to zoom, and I can't move the map around uh, to show the route. So that's why I double tap this. It opens up the dock, which is no big deal. You know, we can just tap anywhere and it removes the dock. And we can manipulate our screen, uh, tap it once more, and it'll pull it back up. Double tap, dock, single tap, open. You can do this on any screen. So if you're on your home screen, you can use that there. It'll work on any program. So it's it's pretty handy. Now notice this thing will dim down to in a second. And it's almost invisible. So you can change that if you go back to assistive touch and the idle um, opacity. Opacity. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. You can change the the uh, opacity, whatever, of the of that little dialogue thing. All right, that is how you do uh, a handy dandy pointer on your iPad.